Hello guys, welcome to Online Web Tutor presented by Profitex Sessions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning WordPress plugin development tutorial using Boilerplate. This is our part number 5. Inside this video session guys, we are going to analyze that is how can plugin files works after installation. And I strongly suggest you that please watch part number 4 where we had discussed about each folders and files of plugin Boilerplate framework. If you go through that video then it will be easy to understand that is how plugin files works after installation. So if I back to folder structure, now inside this folder structure all these folders we have. Now this is all about main plugin file. Now what which actually I did, I have opened this folder that is books management tool inside atom editor. By the help of this editor actually, we are going to understand that is how plugin works with their files. So let's click on the main plugin file that is plugin slug.php. Now inside this file we can find all about some documentation or some comment lines. These are automatically generated by our boilerplate plugin generator tool right here inside this and also we can find about this plugin name, plugin URI, description, version and so on. Also as we know that for the plugin installation or for the plugin installation these are the parameters we need as a comment part for the plugin development. So when we go and install this plugin then these informations are much, ne much necessary informations for this plugin development. Scroll down. Now here we have some constants defined. So don't worry at all. When we go video a video then we also we are going to create some more constants which basically we need at the plugin development stages. Now at the first this is a function. Now inside this function basically we have actually included a file. This file is coming from includes folder and remember this is all about our plugin slug activator.php. So in the last video we had discussed that this file is responsible to actually develop all the codes what basically runs at the plugin activation. So here inside this file if we go inside includes folder and before that go inside includes folder and open about a file called activator.php and actually if we have to make some changes then both two files will be open otherwise this file will be automatically closed. Now inside this main plugin file we have the first file linked about activator and inside this activator file if we go right here then inside this class actually if we go again here now this is all about class what we have included from this folder from this file sorry and here inside this file actually we have a class inside this class we have a static method. So all the tables development code it means table creation code and the pages creation code and many more which runs at the plugin activation we will go and code inside this static function. Also if we want to change about from static method to non-static method then also we can do that. So by the help of this actually function we have called by the class name actually scope resolution operator. This is the class and this is the function. So at the first function we have run our activator file which installs or creates all the codes or the development what we did inside activator file. Now in the next as we can see that the code that runs during plugin deactivation. So when we deactivate our plugin then the code which runs then all the codes go inside this includes folder and class plugin slug deactivator.php. So if we open deactivator.php, so inside this file, if we want to delete or drop some tables, delete some pages, 
So all the codes will go inside this static method called deactivate of this deactivated class. Back to our plugin main file and also that file is a uh, means that method is a static method. So that's why we have used by using scope resolution operator and this is the class name by the help of this class name and scope resolution operator we have called this deactivate method. So all these functions like deactivator, like activator, all these functions we have hooked up with the registration activation hook and registration deactivation hook. So by the help of these hooks actually all these functions we have called and perform their respective actions. Now right here this is includes and class this is plugin slug.php. In the last video I told you that inside this includes folder this is the most important file. Why this is most important? So if I make again some changes and if I open this file, so inside this file we have now, now this is the class, now inside this class we have some protected properties, protected like plugin name, version, loader, these are all variables. Now inside this construct function, we have some informations, it means we are loading some methods and these are methods actually defined inside this class. So we are running those methods actually at the time of construct definition. It means when we initiate or instantiate about this class then automatically these methods will be called. So while including, we have included that file inside main plugin file. Again back here now this is a function. Now this is function running at the time of plugin installation. I have told you about this file means plugin main file again back to its documentation. Now this is about plugin file. So plugin main file which runs when plugin activate. It runs when any action will be performed to this plugin. It loads main functions of the plugin. So point number E that is plugin main file which runs when plugin activates. So when the plugin activates it will call this function because this is the function we have defined inside this file and directly it is calling it. Now inside this file this is the class and this is the class what we have inside this file. If you go and this is the file so this is the class we are calling inside this file we are making an object and inside this object we are running run method. So go here and before creating object when we created this line then it means that we are running about four different methods which is stored inside this construct method all these methods and remember inside this method we are loading all the dependencies setting local it is defining all admin hooks, it is defining public hooks as well. So after loading all dependencies, admin hooks and the public hooks, if we find about let's say function run and this is all about run method here and here this loader means if we go inside this construct function, so go at the top, now inside this construct function here it is, not basically here it is, actually we have to find let's loader is a protected property. So if we search about this loader, searching here now, here we are actually in slicing this loader and it is basically defined inside load dependencies method. And remember, this is the method actually we are calling inside construct function. So inside this construct function, we are including all the files of includes folder, let's say our admin, our public, these all files basically for the, our defining public hooks as well as this is all about languages translation file. So again if I go inside our construct function, so inside this construct function, if I search about this define admin hooks, 
and search that. Now this is all about including this is the class and this is the class actually loading from our admin and this is the file and remember inside load dependencies method from this class actually we have loaded that so this is the class actually coming from this file and also if we go inside define public hooks then this is the class actually loading from this public holder and this is the file and this is the file actually we have loaded inside load dependencies method so apart from these files inside our load dependencies again if we go inside load dependencies function or method so inside this also we are including about public admin and also we are including about a file something called class hooks management tool hyphen loader.php and this is the file actually stored inside includes folder so if we search about inside here so inside this file actually we are loading all about actions and the filters which is responsible to this plugin development so via this file this is all about class hyphen plugin slug dot php this is the file of includes folder is important because it is loading all about hooks and actions as well as admin file means admin class file for the admin hooks public class file for the public hooks for the languages translation about its activator and so on so here we need to understand only about two files first file is at at the root this is plugin main file so by going through this file actually we can track about activator deactivator as well as about this class file and this is class file stored inside this includes folder it means that one important file is calling another important file and this important file actually calls all the files what we have inside this boilerplate framework it is loading all the necessary files inside this class file so from the next videos when we start about the development let's say about creating menus sub menus activating some tables means create dynamic tables create dynamic pages drop tables drop pages and the further further developments so all these developments we will see file by file and how can we load also how can we create our own custom functions methods inside this boilerplate framework we will understand and see video a video from the next videos so this is all about that is how plugin works and how one file is dependent to another files how one class is loading all the class level files also we understand that this is a class file of includes which loading all the class lo means all the dependencies all the other class level files of admin panel and the public label and also this is the main plugin file one main plugin file is loading another important main plugin file another important file actually what i'm talking about the file inside this includes folder so basically guys from this video we understood about how plugin works file by file in boilerplate framework so inside this video session guys if you went out then please drop your comment i will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day